What was that noise? Oh, this game has me running for my life already. Four steps. <gasps> How's everyone doing? It's Gav right here, and today we're going to be playing a little VHS retro horror game called Power Jewel Massacre made by Puppet Combo. This game is supposed to be quite terrifying, so, you know, we're going to see if this game makes me quit. It could make me quit, it might not. Let's just get into it and see what happens. It's loading, guys. Let's go. Puppet Combo presents. I think we're in the, the mountains in this game. I watched a couple of YouTubers play it before and uh, it seems pretty scary. But sometimes you watch people play games and you're like, oh, this ain't scary. But then you play it yourself and it's like, yeah, okay, this is, this is a lot more than what I thought it'd be. Oh, that's always good. A scream, a crash noise and a fucking flashing light. Car crash, I'm guessing. This is the worst headache ever. But I think I'm alright. It's getting dark. I better get the flashlight out the trunk. Okay. Oh, we're first person for this. Flashlight, can we get it? Can I get this? Looks like we brought a flashlight. Can we get it? Oh, there we go. Get a flashlight. Okay, great. Okay, so did we... Oh, he's not good. Hold on, can we get the flashlight? Um, what button is it for inventory? Is it just... Okay, great, it's just escape. Flashlight. Quit. Boom. It's not even... Is it even on? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that guy is not good. That guy's not good. Don't worry, Jeff. I'll find help. Yeah, Jeff ain't, you know, Jeff ain't doing too good. <laughs> I don't think he is, at least. Power Drill Mask. Oh, tits. Designed by Benedetto Cucuzza. That's a nice name, Benedetto. Benedetto Cucuzza. I don't know what kind of name that is. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pr uh, pronouncing it in an accent either. That could be any name. We got the grass, trees. I don't know where we are. I think we're in the. Are we in the? No, we're not in the desert. We're not seeing any. I guess we're in the mountains or something. Oh, I just walked into a bush. Yeah, this game uh, was made a while ago. It was made years ago, but it's been updated ever since. They consistently update it. That's what I love about them. They update their games, and it's. Uh, they have a very work in progress type of mentality, you know? They start out with a basic concept and then they kind of build upon it and that's what this game is. It's a good example. Uh, okay, that's a path there, but... Can we go in here? Nope. Oh, what's this? Oh, planks, never mind. Uh, go behind here. Oh, man. Looks like some kids drew a pentagram back here. <laughs> some kids, that's a big assumption, you know? I mean, that's a... It's a pretty well-drawn pentagram, you know, like, they put some effort into that, and they must care about that pentagram. I don't think it's just kids, I think it's, uh, I think someone actually put some, some effort into that. Good art, though, I'd, I'd rate it, like, a 9 out of 10. Alright. I love how our characters just want it, like, running in our fucking... Just one direction, hoping that we find some place, which we did, because that looks like a building. Nice view. Well, I can't see much actually. That was a lie. I just lied. <laughs> it's not a nice view. I can't see anything. Uh, can we go? Oh, great. Cramped. Uh, uh, scary noise. Uh, is that someone? Yeah, that's a man. Yeah, that's a man right there. Oh, he just disappeared. Okay. Can we search around this place? I know we can go inside. I know for a fact. All the clips I've seen, I know we can go inside. But I wonder what happens if we... 
search around. Uh, can we go in here? No. Okay. It's all kind of like there's no other way for us to uh, to go. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna have to go inside the building. I don't know why alarm bells aren't ringing in our characters' heads right now. Like, you know, we just saw someone up there and they went inside and they didn't even notice us. And you know, it just fe feels like a bit of a trap. It does feel like a no, not a bit of a trap. It feels like we're about to be murdered. At least that's what I would feel if I was in this person's situation. We went past him. So he was stood right here. And we were there. Yeah, I don't trust that. Oh, I just switched my flashlight. The door is open. Go inside. I don't have a choice. That's the only way to progress the game. What a creepy building. I know. Yeah, why not go inside it? Oh, bro, fuck this game. Oh god, I can see why people quit playing this game so early. It's the environment, man. It's the environment. What was that noise? They need to stop playing random sounds like that, man. It scares the fuck out of me. Okay, I'm just checking. Turn my flashlight off so I don't get the noise. The search continues for two missing campers in the Pocono Mountains. Mason C. Sergeant and Laurie Summers of Long Island, New York have been missing since June 8th. The campsite and belongings have been located, but investigators have few leads. Police say there are no visible signs of struggle and this continues to be a rescue mission. The rest is missing. It's dated August 1982, five years ago. Okay, this definitely leaves you on edge. Key? Pick up a green key? I'll take it. I'll take it, right? I mean, what else are we gonna do with a key, right? What else are we gonna do with a key, right? Oh, I despise this. Oh, motherfucker. That was him. That was him. Is he catching up to me? Dead end. Oh my god, we just ran into a dead end. Okay, so this guy just comes out right out the bat, just straight up. What was that noise? Oh, this game has me running for my life already. Four steps. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Am I dead? I can't see shit. How did I get away? Oh my god. How did I get away? Okay. I'm in darkness right now. Oh, he was following me the whole time. When I heard footsteps right behind me. This is why I don't play this fucking game. Hold on, what's in here first? The frog. <laughs> Go into the room that has the fucking... Okay, great. What was that? Oh my god, I'm gonna turn my flashlight off again. Another newspaper, oh, I'll read it. Pocono vanishings, no trace of missing campers. April 4th, 1985. Since 1978, 12 campers have disappeared. Over, I'm, I'm reading like really fast now because I'm scared. A hundred mile, stre stre mile stretch of the Pocono Mountains. We conduct dozens of rescue missions each year, says park ranger Charlie Plank. People come up here to camp and hike all the time without any experience. Accidents happen. While most rescuers are successful, these 12 have stumped park rangers and local police. Campfires, 
left burning, boots and jackets left behind, radio still playing. It's like these people were ripped away from their campsites, says a Bradley who is involved in the search for. I can't read anymore, the ink is faded. <coughs> Should I just run, guys? I feel like I should just, like, run as fast as possible until I find something. We started out here. Okay. What's in here? Okay, I'm gonna run. I don't like this place. I don't like this place. Oh, that oh, wasn't me. Okay, let's run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna run as fast as possible, guys, until I reach something interesting. Because I don't like. I just don't like these confined spaces that this game has put me in. So. I don't know why I turned. I swear I could hear multiple footsteps there for a second. Oh my god, I can. He's chasing after me. Oh my god, oh motherfucker. Oh my. I knew it. What gets me is. The jump scare noise doesn't play until you look at him. But I could hear his footsteps, I could hear him behind me. I'm like, my footsteps are going way too fast for it to just be mine. But yeah, I'm definitely going to quit. I'm going to leave it there. That was the Power Drill Massacre, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one.